What is up guys, it's you here, bring another review on Dr. Stone. This episode really took some leaps and bounds and when it comes to like where they're going and it really just feels like a all out war is about to really take place probably, I'm gonna guess, maybe at, towards the end of next episode and I hate that the season is coming to an end. I'm hoping that we get a second season because honestly, I, there's so much more that i want to see of dr stone and I, I i just i've just enjoyed it you know especially this episode like as we were able to kind of see uh even though they're getting prepared like they took the time to do certain things in this episode that honestly i wasn't expecting and it gets to show us too like uh, a, an icer side of senku and at the same time genius from uh, Chrome, who hasn't been able to really shine much lately, and I really enjoyed them. Not only is Senku, you know, doing work, but we also have Chrome, you know, literally using his Chrome Dome to actually, you know, get stuff done on the side. So I really enjoyed that personally. But as far as the episode goes, they're still having a lot of preparations when it comes to making cell phones. Everyone is just, you know, on board with it of course it's a lot of work but they're having to do all this and it's fun the breaking down and the first thing that they do and obviously none of them know what it is except for gen and senku of course is a cotton candy machine now honestly i was a bit surprised myself i was like what would a ca cotton candy machine do for like the situation but it makes a lot more sense now that we see that this is actually because I, I i never knew the mechanics of a cotton candy machine but apparently it does all this thinning and using gold it would allow to make coil for electronic stuff and i'm like that's brilliant you know i never would have thought something like that and you know the the thought process there for senku to me it just amazes me but at first they actually use cotton candy and this is like a mind-blowing thing everyone tries it and it's like the sweetest thing in the world but when it comes to sweet it's like okay for me personally but we also see like while they're getting prepared also the time that they're having to work with because winter's coming obviously they're not gonna fight that's just you know it doesn't it when due, due to like you know the conditions and them not being able to do much during winter they have to get ready somehow and so we have both senku and sukasa you know kind of formulating a plan and how they're going to be doing all this and they're gonna they're, they're all very much alike you know they're having very similar thought processes and when it comes to spring more is going to break out so I'm looking forward to it. They did, they did bring up the whole Yuzuri Yuzu, Yuzu, excuse me, and Taiju situation. Uh, they're not going to bring it up, but we know that they're going to be on, on on Senku's side, excuse me. So I, I I definitely am looking forward to that. But having them try that out, Cotton Candy was amazing, and we also figure out that Hamora was like has been spying on this whole time. She's been sent out by Hyoga, and Senku does something that normally you would never do for the enemy and he actually sets up a little thing with cotton candy for her to try and she enjoys it and we hear like the sounds of like Japanese festivals which probably brought back some memories and a gesture like like this you know it would definitely you know kind of smoothen things out at least with you know Hamora but it, we're not expecting much you know it's just kind of like hey here you know um, this is what we've been doing you know you can kind of figure it out and it was kind of nice and then the girls i thought that was hilarious even even uh ruri was kind of like wondering you know what kind of girls is she into obviously she was married to him for like 20 seconds so i'm sure she's wanting to know what's going on in that little chrome i mean that little dome of um senku but we also get to see you know a side of chrome and go moving on of how you know he decided you know to make things easier why it, this would smooth things out and he ends up going and creating something that uh it really helps out it makes a lot of jumps i want to say he jumps into at least into like the 1800s you know when it comes to using a water wheel and you know this will save a lot of manpower now they can dedicate themselves to doing other things and it's just really cool to see that they they worked on this for three whole days you know it's a lot of work um 
and they got it fully functioning. You know, that's something that you never would have thought seeing. You know, they had no idea how to do it. They just kind of winged it. And it's all happened because we saw Senku create the gear, which did allow things to be a lot easier. It was kind of sweet, too, you know, going moving on and seeing, you know, like them, you know, enjoying, uh, like all this stuff like it's it's just overwhelming but at the same time they're enjoying it. and that's something i personally like this to like to see like the little things are just overwhelming for them and like it's like things that like today we kind of don't like look back because we just kind of take it for granted but it's really cool for me and i've really enjoyed seeing you know their reaction it seems very genuine and like the strides that they made uh but overall, I have enjoyed this episode. I'm ready for the next one. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down below your moment that you liked in this episode. Stay safe, and I will catch you later.